Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today is exciting because I am gonna be doing a little decor, a little moving around. That's why I'm, you know, casual, casual, casual. Um, so let me explain to you what I'm gonna do today because I desperately want you to grasp how amazing this little transformation is gonna be. So this is inside of my house. I know it's blurry, but you can kind of, you can kind of see. This is where I pack all of my orders. However, I only use this space when I'm packing orders, which is once every week or once every two weeks. So for the most part, this space is by itself. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take over this little corner. I'm gonna move that somewhere else. I'm gonna take over this corner and I am gonna set myself up the cutest little filming nook because as you guys know, I film in the garage and in the winter time, it's too cold and my heater makes a lot, a lot of noise. In the summertime, it's too hot and my AC makes a lot of noise. So even though I'll still be filming out there most of the time for my voiceovers and my podcast and all of that, I want a quiet space um, that I could just immediately sit down and start filming, not like where I have to turn off a million, turn on a million LED lights and the air and all that stuff. So like in the winter when it's really cold in the morning and I'm gonna start my coffee lives, I can grab my coffee and come sit down. So I'm very, this is much, much needed, okay? Let's get started. Okay, so I'm just giving you the visual one more time. This is something that I have hated since day one, but I just never took the time to remove it. I basically asked Jenny to put this up for me because this is lights, but um, I didn't realize that this is how he was gonna put them up and I've always hated how it looks. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that down, okay? So I'm gonna put my phone over there Set up a time lapse because trust me, you don't want to sit here and watch me in real time because I'm by myself and it's going to take me a while to move everything around. So I'm going to set you guys up in the corner, film a time lapse of my busy little self and be right back when I have something concrete to start with. I could watch you for a lifetime. you my favorite movie. A thousand endings. Mean everything to me. I never knew what's coming. Forever fascinated. I hope you don't stop running. Cause I'll always be waiting. You are my cinema action thriller. I could watch you forever. You are my cinema. I covered up all the holes. I know this is super ghetto, but honestly, this is just the way I DIY. I used air dry clay, and right now they look like dark spots, but when they dry, the clay dries white. It's gonna blend into the wall perfect. It covers the hole. Hey, it's fine. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna think for a moment. I kind of, guys, I want this to totally feel like an actual like show, like, like pretend I'm on HGTV. Then this is what I'm gonna do over here. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna push the uh, bin, the cubbies a little bit into the wall because there's a negative space back there and then put the table right here for packing orders. And then I am going to move this table to this side of the wall and that's gonna open up my space. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do another time lapse so you don't have to keep watching me. I'm excited, I hope you're enjoying this. One night to be confused, one night to speed up truth. We had a promise made for us and then away. Both under influence, we had divine said to know what to Hi, see. how are you enjoying my HGTV show? Okay, so I'm going to vacuum now.
Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start out with is this rug. It's a little beat up because I got it from the clearance section. Guys, everything I get is always on sale. So I don't see the price tag on here, but I can tell you exactly how much it was. So this rug was originally $59.99 at Home Goods, but I got it in the clearance section and I ended up paying about $35 for it. So very good deal because it's a decent size rug. And I knew I wanted it to be pink, but I knew that I did not want it to be like an overwhelming shade of pink because I already have lots of pink in here. And so I really need to be careful with all of the different tones and everything that I'm bringing in here. Otherwise, it's gonna go from looking cute and girly and delicate to being a big ball of crazy. So now I just have to decide which way I wanna lay my rug. And I think I should do it the long way. Like this, yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, I've been wanting a rug in here for so long. I'm so freaking obsessed. And the rug does move around and slide around a little bit, but it's fine because I'm gonna put the chair on it and the chair is heavy and there's gonna be other stuff that are, that are gonna keep it in place. And then I will literally just use like uh, something on that side to keep it. But already love the vibe that the rug is giving this area. Next, we're gonna move on to my accent chair. These chairs are really expensive. I've been shopping around for a while now. These chairs are really expensive. I've been shopping around for a while now and they're like 300, 400, 500. Like they're super expensive. I got this one at Tuesday morning for $2.49, but it has a little bit of snags on the bottom, which really are not like a big deal at all. See these? I don't know if you can see them or not, but it has them on both sides. Literally, I can cut them off and it's fine, but you always gotta get a discount. So I got her to bring the price down to $220. So yeah, $220 for the chair. It was amazing. Now it does have the uh, legs, but they're at the bottom. It has a little compartment down here for you to put them away whenever you're, you're moving. These little legs just screw on. And there's a letter on the leg that tells you where it goes. And there's a letter right here that tells you like which uh, letter of the leg goes on which side of the couch or the seat or the chair. I don't know. These are bougie. I've never had one of these. What are they called? Okay, so it needs another B one. Screw it in right there. You guys, I cannot even tell you how much fun I'm having right now. Like filming this video, this kind of video, gosh, I seriously wish HGTV or a and &E. <laughs> hey guys, this is my official, this is my official application. I wish they would just freaking give me a show because I want to come over to your house and do a little makeover for you. Whichever room you want me to do, I am a decor whore. I love dec all things decor and I love all things bargain. So I'm going to place my chair. Oh, she's beautiful. She's so beautiful. Okay, so this is what I envisioned. I envisioned a little corner chair just like that. So I also bought this really cute basket. This basket is from Home Goods and it was $11.99. Super cute. And I knew that I wanted a little, a little basket next to it. Guys, it was really hard to pick out a basket too. Like I sat there forever looking at baskets because I was so picky like of what I wanted. Some of the other baskets were too like farmhousey. I don't know how to explain it. Like this is more of like a modern cute little basket versus the ones that were there that like I mentioned, um, they were like super, super like farmhouse. Okay, so I got this huge blanket to throw in the basket. Of course, I got pink leopard. Um, this blanket was $16.99. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of put it in the basket. All right. And then I am going to kind of just 
let it drape over like that. Super cute. This arrangement was $20. Um, it's normally more than I would want to pay for something like this because I could get these little jars at the Dollar Tree and these little flowers, but this is a very specific type of flower. You really can't find them anywhere. I went to three places, so I had to go back and get it because I was too in love with it, and I was like, no, I have to go. I'm like, I have to go back. I got this table right here. Oh my gosh, when I was there, I was literally like, envisioning everything and it's just how I envisioned it like everything is looking how I thought it was gonna look I'm super freaking excited let me turn my chair just a tiny little bit okay all right so that little table was $29.99 and then my little plant here was $19.99 so it was $20. Stop, it's so cute. This tiny little lamp, you guys, which is so cute, this was $12.99 um, at Tuesday morning. It's so little and so, look how little it is. It's so cute. Um, I immediately knew I wanted a little light to be here on the table, of course, right? Like, it's not a cozy little uh, seating area if you, don't got, if you don't have a pretty little lamp. Oh my gosh, stop it right now. I'm in heaven, guys. Let me bring that a little closer. I have another little sign that I've kind of had for a while. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it here. I feel like it goes very well, right? So I've got my three layers. Something important whenever you're styling a little a table. Okay, this is this is a HGTV moment. Okay, something very important when you're styling a table is the height of everything that you're putting on it. Um, if I would have picked a taller lamp, it would have been, they would have been fighting for the spotlight. And if I would have picked a super huge picture frame, it would have been covering up too much of the vase and too much of the lamp. So you kind of want to create tiers anytime that you're decorating anything. Um, I really wanted the flowers to be the centerpiece because I think they are so beautiful. So I wanted this to be my highest tier. I wanted a very little lamp. I did not want it to be overpowering. And then I just wanted a cute little, you know, a cute little something to balance all three of them out. I don't think the little table needs anything else. That's already a lot right there. So I got this beautiful little pillow. Um, this pillow was $11.99. I got it at Tuesday morning. Normally, I don't really like to pay for, like, expensive for pillows. Because to me, that's expensive. But I knew I really wanted a beautiful pillow. Now, I can either use this, this side. And I know what you're thinking. There's too many textures here. But trust me, it works. However, if you're nervous... It's double-sided, so you can just flip it and use the pink side, which is the side I'm going to use the most. And then I got this beautiful row blanket to keep here. Um, this one is going to be mostly for decor. That's probably the one I'm going to wrap myself with in the mornings. But this was on clearance at Tuesday morning. I know it says $20, but this was only $10. So I'm just going to drape it over. Okay. Like, I'm obsessed. I love the little space. Like, I'm gonna be able to come in here in the mornings and be like, good morning, baddies. Welcome back to my channel. Um, hi, how can I help you? What would you, how, what would you, can I help you? And there's only one other thing that I'm gonna be on the lookout for. And I kinda just want a cute little ottoman so that I can like rest my feet. And I uh, honestly, like, I'll probably sit here and draw on my iPad you know, do stuff like that, do my lives, my voiceovers, my podcast. And I was going to move the decor, but to be honest, I actually really like how the decor looks right there. It's beautiful. I'm obsessed. Let me bring you a little closer, kind of like they would on HGTV. Hold on. And here she is, my little nook, my little corner. Hello. I'm obsessed. Hello, everyone. Hello, welcome to my channel. Hello, I am waving. Hello. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. I'll be back again on Wednesday with another video. 
Thank you for watching HGTV. Eh, okay, I'm just practicing for when the limo pulls up.